right, in this tutorial we're just going to look at conjugate acids and conjugate bases and how um, the acids and bases are linked uh, by a proton transfer, if you will, to give uh, what's called conjugate pairs. And I'll, I'll put these words up at the side. So basically, uh, conjugate acid, I'm going to type this out now, uh, conjugate acid donates protons, okay? Now, if we um, if I just compare that to a conjugate base, a conjugate base accepts protons. Okay. Now I've only typed that out because uh, my handwriting can uh, can get a bit hard to read sometimes. Okay. So a conjugate acid. If I, if I draw, if I put that in red say just change the color of that to red conjugate acid donates protons um, similar to like I say uh, conjugate base accepts protons okay so well, let's have a look at this equation here I'll just move these down and I'll put these up at the side as well so you can see these so which one is a conjugate acid here? So if a conjugate acid donates protons, then this species is donating protons, and there's your proton. So that must be the conjugate acid. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward so far. And if a conjugate base accepts protons, then remember this is an equilibrium, so we could have wrote it the other way around, really. Then this must be a conjugate base, okay? Because this can accept protons, and you can see that it's got a proton there if we go this way, if we go in this direction. Okay, so if we if we went in that direction there, we can see that chloride can accept protons, so that's a conjugate base. Okay, so let's have a look at another example. Let's look at nitric acid. So nitric acid is H N O three. So three. And that's in water. And that's an equilibrium, okay? So HNO3 in water is going to donate a proton to water, so that becomes H3O plus plus our nitrate ion NO3 minus. Okay, so now we've got to identify that's a H there. Now we've got to identify um, which one. Is a conjugate acid and which one's a conjugate base? Well, we just move these down a little bit. Here is pretty easy to see which one's a proton donor. So if we uh, copy that, and you can see straight away that this is the conjugate acid. And which one's a conjugate base? Well, going backwards, it's going to be the the nitrate ion there. So that's pretty straightforward as well. Now it gets interesting. Now if we just look at the water, what's happening with water, we've got a proton source in this if we look at it going backwards in this direction, we've now got a conjugate acid here, look. So H3O plus is a uh, conjugate acid is something that donates protons and this can donate protons, look. It donates protons to this species here, so that's conjugate acid. And if we look at, at the other conjugate base, you'll see that water is actually a conjugate base. So if we if we look at another example, let's have a look at um, something like ammonia. So let's just move this up a little bit. And move these down a little bit. Let's have a look at ammonia. So ammonia is NH3. Okay. And if this is in water, what's what are the products going to be? So we've got H2O. And that's an equilibrium. That's before. And what's going to happen? Well, ammonia is going to pick up a proton, become NH4 plus. And it's going to leave a hydroxide ion, OH minus. 
Okay, this is all in water. So now let's have a look at the uh, which ones are conjugate acid and which ones are conjugate base. So conjugate acid by definition donates protons. So in this case, ammonia is not donating protons, it's actually picking one up. So it's water that's donating the proton. So in this example here, just copy that, water is a conjugate acid. And going backwards the other way, what donates protons? Well, it's the ammonium ion that donates protons in this case. And quite easily, looking at the conjugate base, well, it's easy and on the reverse step because you we're used to seeing a OH minus as a base, something that accepts protons. But it might not have been so straightforward looking at this as a conjugate base, ammonia. Okay, something that can accept protons. Maybe it is pretty straightforward to see that anyway. But it's, it is it is nice to see that water plays this role of being acid and base, depending on the basicity, if you will, or acidity of the, the other species. So uh, water can be acid and base, uh, conjugate acid or conjugate base. So that's um, a basic introduction to conjugate pairs. Um, and it's it is quite interesting to to see this uh, variety in in uh, what is a conjugate base because in in one in one particular environment it's a conjugate acid say for water another one it's conjugate base um, so have a look at that and get get used to the terminology of of calling these acids and bases so that's a, a very brief introduction to um, conjugate acids and conjugate bases so bye for now.